Creatine seems to help muscles make more of the energy source called ATP. ATP stores and moves energy in the body's muscle cells. It's used for activities that involve quick bursts of movement such as weightlifting or sprinting. In that list you could involve football, biking and skating also. The body naturally produces creatine, a compound which we now know is primarily used to supply energy to muscles, especially during high intensity activities. It's made in the liver, kidneys and the pancreas from the amino acids arginine, glycine and methionine. Most of the body's creatine is stored in the skeletal muscles, with smaller amounts in the brain and other tissues. The body synthesizes creatine from amino acids. Storage. Most of the body's creatine is stored in muscle tissue, specifically as phosphocreatine, which is used to regenerate ATP, the primary energy currency of the cell during muscle contractions. Dietary sources. While the body produces some creatine, it can also be obtained through diet, with red meat and fish being good sources of this creatine producing process. Is creatine a steroid? No, it is not. Creatine is a naturally occurring compound in the body that helps with energy production during short bursts of intense activity. Anabolic steroids are synthetic hormones that mimic testosterone and are used to promote muscle growth, while creatine is a dietary supplement that helps with muscle energy. So I'll reiterate and say it again, anabolic steroids, they are synthetic hormones that mimic the effects of testosterone. They can promote muscle growth and strength, but also come with significant health risks, problems and side effects. They are regulated as controlled substances in some countries and require a prescription to use illegally. Check out the recent video for more info on steroids. What are the side effects of anabolic steroids?